who's most to blame for the Dubs losing? Siakam. Siakam is most to blame for the Dubs losing. It's not that the Warriors played so poorly. It's that I want people to understand this is his first finals game. The entire question is, is Kawhi going to have an all-star caliber crime partner in this series? And this wasn't Kawhi as Batman even. This is Kawhi, as Stephen A will tell you, saying, like, I need someone else to do this tonight. And he's facing double and triple teams. Listen to this stat line. It's easy to just say 32 points. He was 14 of 17 from the field. 14 of 17 in a finals game against the Warriors. Hold on. He had, he had eight boards, five assists, a steal, and two blocked shots to go with the 32 points. It's sometimes, sometimes it's not what you're not doing. It's that someone else elevates. Siakam elevated. He was the guy that Kawhi and the Raptors needed last night, and he's the reason they won that game. I hear, I hear spicy P. Spicy. Got it. Spicy. spicy. So I'm spicy. supposed to Got sit it. here. I'm supposed to sit here and, and, and surround myself with folks serenading a professional male athlete whose nickname is to. Spicy P. <laughs> really? 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 If I was him, I'd be embarrassed. Spicy P. I mean, I mean, even Swaggy P is better than that. I mean, I mean, come on now. I mean, come on now. Toronto, y'all, this is this is this is a phenomenal city. Oh Lord, is this special? Okay, y'all are better than that. Spicy P. I mean, give me a I'm kind break. Of Stephen a on it's that one, whack. Actually. All right, now having said all of that, phenomenal game on the part of Pascal Siakam. I voted for him as my most improved player of the year. I know he's special, but that, but that was, that is, but that wasn't the reason they lost last night. The reason they lost last night was because Andre Iguodala didn't show up offensively. He gave you nothing. And if Andre Iguodala, listen, as great as Pascal was playing. As great as, remember, Gasol played well. Remember, Van Vliet played well. And still, Golden State was within three in the fourth quarter. So all I'm saying to you is that if you got a guy, one other guy other than Steph and Clay, that can hit a damn shot, I believe Golden State wins game one. So I'm looking at not taking anything away from Siakam. Somebody would have done something or they would have done it by committee. This is what we've been saying about Toronto. What was the difference? The difference isn't that the only difference when you look at one guy stepping up, it's usually by committee, a, a plethora of them. That wasn't necessarily the case last night, even though you can look at Gasol and Van Vliet and point out what they did. The biggest difference was you had no one show up as a third wheel for Golden State. That's why I point to Iguodala. Oh, part of that is the defense that Toronto is playing also. But you didn't get, you talked about Siakam, not the defense. Right, but, right, but Iguodala going into the series, like we, we could play that game and say, well, Kawhi also didn't have a big game. That's why they were within, you know, within three. And, you, and then you, well, because he was hurt. And then someone else could say, well, KD's hurt and he's not even playing. Like we could keep playing that game. The bottom line is Golden State were champions for a reason even before KD got there. And even though it was largely because Cleveland was hurt with Kyrie and Kevin Love and it still went six games, they were still in the finals. They're a powerhouse. With or without KD, they're a powerhouse. And they're an experienced team. So you even make the point they're within three anyway, right? It took a special kind of effort, both ends of the floor, from a player other than Kawhi to pick him up. Gasol had a very good game. Van Vliet had a very good game. It is a team game. But Siakam was by far the best player in the game last night, and that's why they won. Toronto, one more time. Spicy P! 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 All right. Wow. Thank you.
thank you, everybody. We just needed to do that I mean, for Stephen A. one more time. I just need to put a smile. That's just embarrassing. I need to see those white choppers one more time. I mean, as great of a city as Toronto <laughs> is, Max, a spicy uh, How impressed were you I mean, with, with Steph Curry? Because he, had a, he had a game high 34. I got to say about Steph, and I'm nitpicking now, um, I would have liked to see him. I felt he asserted himself at times in that game. But when it was a three-point game, mm -hmm. I didn't see him do it then. Now, it's a little nitpicky because how do you get it to be a three-point game? Because he had to bring them back from it. You know, like they were, as I said, Siakam was outplaying everyone. I saw positive signs from Steph Curry. I've been critical of him, particularly in finals, where I feel like, I don't feel like, I know for a fact, I can see, and the numbers support it, by the way, he has been less than his, not best self, even normal self in final series. And that goes for his whole career. I've seen positive signs. I thought he was really assertive, Stephen A, putting the ball on the floor, drawing fouls when his team needed to, keeping his team in the game. If he continues on that trajectory, I think he can put to bed the idea that he hasn't played his best in the finals. Look, these stats that you see with Steph Curry, Wilt Chamberlain and Michael Jordan, these are the only players to score this many. Don't give me that. The, the Golden State offense is what it is. He's a great player, I get it. When they've needed him most, he's been less than his normal self. I think that may be changing. I saw positive signs well, last well, night. Definitely, if he's hitting shots, obviously, that's going to be a big deal. If he's finding himself open, moving without the basketball, that's definitely great.